As the Commonwealth prepares to legalize marijuana, local law enforcement agencies have major concerns about the legislation. But supporters say Virginia is making sweeping progress in criminal justice reform. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder is working for you to break down what legalization will look like come July the 1st. While state leaders are celebrating the legalization of marijuana come this summer, some local law enforcement leaders are not on the same page. I mean, frankly, this is a great day to be a drug dealer in Virginia. Roanoke County Police Chief Howard Hall says he has several concerns ranging from impaired driving going up to an increase in illegal sales of marijuana. July 1st, marijuana will become legal to possess. Uh, I don't know how they're dealing with all the various forms of it, but in general terms, legal. The commercial market, the legal sale of marijuana, will not be ready until 2024. Wanting to see appropriate controls in place is something supporters of the change hope to see as well. But I think it's the right step. And I think the fact that the General Assembly, in a bipartisan way, moved this up to July on legalization, as long as we've got appropriate oversight, I think it's important. Members of the Virginia Association of Chiefs of Police are concerned about the accelerated schedule and that officers may not have enough time to train. There's a lot of complicating factors to making this happen. Some police departments are starting new education and training as soon as today, but some still worry there may not be enough time to answer every question. There's just a lot of things to take into consideration that um, that we wish we had more time for. So we're very much concerned about this accelerated schedule leading to some level of unpreparedness, but our folks will do their best. Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.